Hi everyone. So rather than a tutorial today, I wanted to do a very high level look at a new asset that I came across this morning in the news and maybe a little bit of a review. I did some due diligence and I brought this in and tested it myself. So I'm going to speak about that experience here in just a moment. Uh, but this tool is Ultimate XR. This is their landing page and URL right here. Um, this is a VR tool in Unity. It is free and open source. I hate to just call it a tool. I'd rather just call it a framework because as I look through it, it is uh, very modular and very customizable uh, when it comes to some of these more complicated things to implement, like grabbable interactives, um, grabbing different shapes and type, sorts of objects in the world and latching those things to the hands in a way that feels natural and intuitive. Uh, and then something that you don't normally see in these free tools, but a fully modular system for a uh, full body avatar and they're the IK running all the way down the hands, up the elbows, into the shoulder, into the torso. Uh, you're going to see a part in the video when I play through my Quest 2 headset where I can look into a mirror and see the IK in my full body. And it is such a surreal experience to... Uh, to see that representation representation of yourself that feels natural um, a lot of times some of the, the free stuff or homespun stuff can be a little bit janky but this is not this is ultimate xr by vr mata if we go to the about page here and we load this up i don't know why the web is running a little slow for me here these are the folks responsible for this tool right here uh, if you want to kind of uh, find them on social media or whatever and give them a follow um, Ultimate XR has really great, I'm going to zoom back out here a little bit, really great documentation for all of the different platforms that you might be using. So if you're using a Vive Focus, they got the Wave XR. If you're Steam based, uh, Steam VR, for me it was the Oculus SDK. Uh, they list out the main parts of their components, which if you ask me, there's three main components to this. But if you were to ask me, these are the most important things in a VR experience right now, which is like, how do you interact with things in the world and manipulate anything in the world, regardless of the shape it is or size? Um, how do you get the hands to feel like you, a representation of your real hands? The closer we get to that, the better these experiences feel. So hand poses are really important for this part of the experience. Um, the Oculus integration SDK does have tools for this, but it feels in Forgive me, Oculus or Meta, but uh, this feels very convoluted in their tools. Whereas here, everything in the UI has been set up in these windows to just instantly facilitate your ability to customize all of the joints and the hand and everything. And this is actually what the Oculus integration tools should should look like. Uh, the XR interaction toolkit should sort of have a GUI that looks like this too, but unfortunately those lack a lot of visual GUI like this. So this is absolutely amazing. The avatar, this is something that you don't get in the XR Interaction Toolkit. And I believe you do not get this in the Oculus Interaction SDK either. You have to sort of roll your own and they may provide all the different components, but again, it is a very sort of convoluted process to work your way through it. But all of this documentation is here. It's awesome. Um, how to use your own custom avatars. There's a bunch of visual uh, visuals here of the Unity Editor as well to walk you through that. Um, I pulled this off of their website as a Unity uh, package file, which made it very simple, your traditional Unity package file. But they do have the GitHub repo up and running now, so you can uh, pull this from the Git URL and keep updated with all of the fixes that they have. But I didn't really experience any bugs and again this was just i did three or four run throughs after my build today uh, they may build the github repo page the readme and all this out they may build this out a little more full uh, this was not here earlier this morning so this is all like this is literally just a few hours ago uh, i believe that this was put up but um golly um so i downloaded the unity package file I created a, I did what all of the rest of you would probably do to test this, create a basic URP template project. I just made it on my desktop, knowing that I would probably just throw it away after my test, either proved out that this was not going to work or that this was going to work beautifully. And uh, I'm very pleased to report that this did work beautifully. It worked exactly as advertised. Um, so 
It comes in in this folder, Ultimate XR here, and I'm not going to dive very deep uh, into this, but examples is where you're going to want to look. And there is an Ultimate XR URP. Uh, this also supports built-in. So if you don't want to be in URP for reasons of uh, issues with bugs, known issues in Unity with URP, uh, everything in here supports built-in too. The only thing it doesn't support is HDRP, which in the case of XR and VR makes a lot of sense. And all of the core rooms here for the functionality are here. There's an avatar. It's already set up. Again, they really put a lot of time into making this uh, UI, these tools, really great to work with, with all of the drop downs and fold outs and everything and all of the stuff that you can customize in here. Um, if you were to go look at like the, the hands in here and the components on the hands and you sort of drill down on those, um, there are lots of cool stuff in here that you can set to get a different look uh, for the gloves that you can also adjust for the materials, the different render pipelines and things like that. Um, but let me just play. So I imported this in. The only thing that I did was I went and build settings and I switched my platform to Android because I want to test in standalone mobile VR. Uh, everyone can make basically just about anything work with desktop VR, but I'm, I'm very curious about performance and how things work on a limited platform like Android and mobile VR. So I switched over for the Quest 2 headset for that just to test it free of a tether. Uh, I did a build and then I used the ADB tools to install that build. And um, let's uh, take a look real quick. Let me uh, pause this real quick and go to a minimal interface. And we will just play through my experience. So as I was going in through here, it was really surreal how robust and smooth this tool is. Like this avatar, it really felt like my hands and my arms. So I was sitting here moving my joints, how well they align to my actual body which was unusual. I assume I'm a pretty standard size, I suppose, in, rep in uh, relation to this avatar. So this is your main corridor here where you go in for the testing out the different things. I wanted to go to the shooting range first, of course, and just see how does how do the firearms work in here? Because this is something that does not come in the, the XR Interaction Toolkit, doesn't come in the Oculus Integration SDK tools. None of those sort of free frameworks that the major vendors provide give you something like the tools to make an FPS. Uh, and here, this toolkit, it's all working out of the box and it felt great. There was uh, none of the weapons were sort of uh, having the janky physics vibrations or things like that. Uh, you might notice a slight amount of stuttering and this just was because um, I was capturing at, a, capturing at a really high bit rate and uh, in high def. Um, so just to try to get the smoothest render I could, but yeah, this was great. It felt felt really good, especially this firearm right here. Um, everything felt so natural. Uh, there, there was no uh, sort of things teleporting to the hand or teleporting away from the hand. It really felt like I grabbed it smoothly. Um, yeah, this was a wild experience. So there's a lot of little nuances here. So there is obviously the detection of surface types for that projectile. So as I strike the glass, it sounds different than striking the metal. Um, there are particle effects and decals and things like that happening. The teleportation feels very smooth. The timing on it feels great. I am an individual in VR who suffers from motion sickness quite a bit. So the fact that this didn't induce any motion sickness whatsoever was a testament as well. Sort of have a little bit of fun here imagining I was in Halo or something like that. Um, again, it felt like an extension of my natural arm. So kudos to the team uh, that has offered up this open source framework, um, as something free for developers to go and utilize um, for to get the core aspect of a game loop going, which in a shooter like that would be those mechanics you just saw, this tool gives you that right there. These are more of these uh, more complex grab interactables and sort of things with joints and physics chains, um, sort of like ro modern robotics. Um, I know at the surface, this all looks like it's taken for, you take this for granted, but this was absolutely stellar right here. This experience of sort of uh, laser engraving or etching with both hands simultaneously on these sort of complex chained 
joint chained uh, physics objects uh, just felt awesome. I felt like I was a surgeon in this moment. Like, I don't know what I was doing, but I thought, oh, I'm going to go in here and laser engrave just about everything. Um, but yeah, you can't take for granted the sort of the, the complexity behind the posing of these elements uh, down these joint chains and then chains and then your ability to sort of grab them at those points and, and uh, smoothly rotate those into positions where the axes are rotating properly. And they're not wigging out. The physics are not vibrating all over the place. These sort of socket tools here are nice. I know XR Interaction Toolkit has uh, some updates to the socket interaction, which is pretty much exactly what's going on here with this. Um, but again, this socketing felt really natural. I wanted to move on, so I just dropped that barrel on purpose. I wanted to kind of move on in the experience and not take too long. Uh, this room looked like it was whip, and this was just a debugging room. There really wasn't any, any interaction in this room, but I did try to teleport over here to the screen to see, oh, okay, so this is uh, debugging. Uh, it knows the device is an Oculus Quest using two touch controllers. Um, this was a user error here as I was bumping into my table in the office. Um, and you can see it's uh, giving a debug output of all the different controllers. I got bored of that pretty quickly and uh, tried to figure out, like, should I carry on in the video or should I try to go in another room? And I thought I, thought I would go back into the shooting range and then I thought, no, I'm not going to make this video too long on this tool set. So I sort of killed the recording at this point, I do believe, before going back in there. Um, one thing I would say I would be interested, I am I don't know because I haven't dug through the documentation um, super thoroughly, but I'd like to see if there are plans or if there are other types of locomotion other than teleporting. If they could get a, a really smooth, um, just full motion and full rotation, maybe angular rotation with just a full character controller traversal through instead of teleportation. Oh my goodness. Like this should be a paid tool. Um, but anyway, this is where you can find it. They've got a discord They're They're on Twitter. Um, I've already followed them on Twitter. Um, I don't know where to hunt down those links right now, but the tool is ultimate XR. I would highly recommend uh, grabbing this and porting it into a unity URP project and giving it a try. There we go. There they are on Twitter. There is their Discord. I would highly recommend giving it a try, testing it out. It literally took me um, about five minutes and all, almost all of that was the time switching to the Android platform while it recompressed all of the textures and all of that. So hopefully this is something that'll get some folks uh, either spark their uh, passion or their curiosity to do a project or maybe this will give someone the foundation for some of the mechanics or functionality that they need in their project okay um, all right well thanks for watching